This is Ani. I'm doing an interview with Frederic Yone. How are you, Frederic? I'm very good. How are you? I'm great. You also go by Fred. <laughs> for today, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Okay, great. Your performance was off the charts. So much enthusiasm in your performance, the artistry, the presentation. You're a harmonicist, correct? Correct. I play the diatonic harmonica. Okay. Any other instruments you play? Well, yeah, I play a little bit of everything because I'm, uh, I'm also a music producer, so I play a little bit of keyboards, I play a little bit of uh, drums as well, enough to uh, tell my musicians what I want from them. Okay, and you travel with a group of musicians? I do, yeah, I have a five-pieces band, guitar, drums, bass, keyboard, and harmonica as a lead instrument. Oh, my goodness. How many years of training? Oh, a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> nobody nobody performs like that with two weeks of training nobody I guess not, I guess not. no um, I picked up the harmonica when I was uh, when I was a teenager yes. uh, I studied by the drums originally but I was mm. uh, I didn't have the, uh, um, the it was not as easy to carry as a harmonica I guess so you know I just spent a lot of time behind this instrument and my life got better what makes you unique according to you Fred hmm that's a very good question um, well, I guess first my background, I'm, uh, I was born in France, uh, and uh, being a Parisian, we are exposed to a lot of different kinds of, uh, of music, and uh, I'm, um, I'm guessing that all those influences have uh, uh, turned me into what I am today, and uh, my harmonica sound is almost of a little patchwork of all the styles of all the harmonica players, uh, but also with, uh, with a lot of energy and a lot of spontaneity. Oh, that is so awesome. Mr. Brookins told me how special it was to have you come and make an appearance here at the Fort Myers Black History event. So how do you feel about that, giving back to, obviously, also your ancestry? Well, it's great to be a part of, a, of an event uh, as meaningful as this one for uh, Black History Month. Uh, the, the, the whole event was phenomenal. Uh, Patrick Lamdi and the, uh, the Minister of Music, uh, br they, 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 brought the, uh, they brought the spirit in, uh, in, in the place. No question you brought about the it. spirit. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> you just jump right in. So even though you were raised in France, you finished your education in France, you bring, what I was saying, you bring soul to this. Okay, all right. And oh. you were saying you were, I, I believe you're living a part of your ancestry, era, ancestry but however... What else is it that makes you special? I mean, is it the fact that you've tapped into so many different uh, origins of music, or it's, are it's, we? It's probably it's probably that I've uh, I've studied I've studied American music for from France for a little while. I toured with uh, uh, blues bands, rock bands, even country bluegrass bands oh, when I was in Europe. Oh, that's true soul right there. And and then uh, I, I used all those different influences to create the sound that uh, that is mine today. Uh, but on top of that, um, I really didn't listen to a whole lot of harmonica players as much as I listened to jazz musicians, sax players, organ players, guitar players, and also not only jazz. I mean, uh, my, my CD collection goes from Jimi Hendrix to Louis Armstrong through Led Zeppelin through, uh, you know, DJs like, uh, I don't know, Daft Punk, for example. So it's really, it's really eclectic. Uh, it, it really comes from a, a lot of different places. Okay. What is your favorite music genre? You mentioned a lot. Would you choose to perform rock all the time and jump in with rock bands? Or what is it that you and your band do that is a specific genre? That's a very good question. Um, I see myself as um, almost a chameleon in the, of, of the harmonica. Um, my favorite genre is probably the one that is going to keep me excited in the, the today. I'm, we, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a musician, but I'm also a guy, and I get excited by the new. So when we play the same thing over and over, it gets boring. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Um, part, of the, part, of my, uh, part of my skills require being able to play any type of music on the fly and deliver it like oh, it's the only thing I've been, I've been playing all my life. When I toured with Prince, for example, yes. I had to play a lot of funk music, but his repertoire is not only in the funk category. He mm -hmm. also touches rock, he touches psychedelic music, a little disco here and there. Mm -hmm. So we had to be able, I had to be able to jump 
and uh, and and play and fit in all those all, all those styles of music on the fly uh, at the last minute. Same with I play with Stevie Wonder. He can be, he can call me on the ballad. He can call me on a on a on a funky tune. So it's really not one genre. I'm I'm really trying to uh, to stay as eclectic as my CD collection, as a matter of fact. That's amazing. I want to ask you. It keeps coming to me. Do you get your talent from your mother? Who has given mm. you this talent? What's special about your mom? Wow. That's what is her nationality also? My mom was born in French Guiana. Oh. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the son of a French Guyanese woman and a Parisian uh, man. Uh, they met uh, when, uh, yeah, when he was doing his military service in the French Guiana. And uh, so we are, we are this family of, uh, of uh, a white dad, a black mom, and two gray kids uh, who evolved in, uh, in, in Europe at a time where, uh, um, you know, it was, not, it was probably not the easiest thing to, uh, to uh, integrate the, mm -hmm. the French society at the time. Um, I guess my mom exposed me to uh, artistry in, uh, in her own way. Her father used to play 11 different string instruments. She was not musically inclined. She was more of a, a drawer and a painter. Wow. Uh, and my father on his side is more of a theater, uh, uh, theater addict. He's, a, he's an actor. Yes. Um, so I guess we, we both, my brother and I, grew up in this kind of artistic environment. Um, I chose the musical path, but I also had a little tab at, uh, at theater at an early age. And um, I guess, you know, uh, I had to follow my path. I kept hearing some music in my head. I had to figure out a way to get it out of it. Wow. You all are really talented. Is your brother a painter? No, he's not. He he's didn't not. become the painter. No, I, I, I cultivated the, the uh, artistic vibe uh, of, the, of the, the family, and he went a different path. He went to different path. Amazing. So tell me about your wonderful companion, your soulmate, your wife. Who is she? What does she do? She is extremely shy, first of all. But she is, um, she, um, mm -hmm. hmm, what does she do? She gets, I'm the balloon and she holds the thread. Okay. How's that? That's great. <laughs> Otherwise, the balloon would be flying anywhere. Yes. <laughs> but somebody has to keep keep it anchored a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so uh, she's uh, she's the uh, uh, the person that keeps me grounded, but I also propels my dreams further along uh, at the same time. So it's a uh, it's a very very healthy relationship to have. Okay. And my final question, tied in with education, tied in with spirit. How does your relationship with the Creator compare with your talent on the universe, in the universe? Wow. Oh, my goodness. My relationship with the Creator. Well, it's... Um, I just had a very interesting conversation with a, with a friend of mine about this recently. And um, he, he basically made, made a statement that helped me open my eyes a little bit towards that. He said that God picks some people for, for, for particular reasons. And, uh, you know, if you don't use the gift, the gift can be taken away from you. Oh. So I make sure to use it to a uh, greater purpose. Uh, I make sure to uh, use it in, uh, in ways that are, um, are respectful to the gift as well. Does that include teaching others? Absolutely. That includes teaching. That includes uh, um, expanding the way people think about the instrument because the, uh, the harmonica has been used mostly as a side instrument, not necessarily as a lead instrument. That includes uh, designing the harmonica in a way that improves the way the harmonica will look, play, and, uh, and be perceived as well. Um, that includes recording with a lot of different artists, not only gospel artists, but, you know, R&B, funk, rock, country, whatever, you know, wherever the harmonica, wherever the, I can the, make the harmonica fit. Uh, so basically it's, um, it's all, all the things that, are, that, that, are, that I do on a daily. Awesome. Ferri, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you very much for having all me. All right.